Does it count as viral if a ghost viewed your video? Does your answer change if that ghost is a celebrity? In 2013, I made a video offering Joan Rivers a ride to one of her shows. Hi Joan, this is Liz. Uh, you might remember me. I'm pretty sure she didn't, but we had met a few weeks before then at a show of hers in Reno. I had just started doing stand-up and felt like I could use a mentor. Right, and I thought, uh, uh, yeah, and, and so, okay, so, um... It was pretty rough back then. I was still teaching law. That's the typical route to stand-up comedy, by the way. <laughs> Speaking, you go to law school for three years, practice for two, teach for nine, get tenure, give it all up, and do stand up comedy. Um. I approached my prospective mentorship academically. I saw Joan Rivers live, learned about her family, her daughter Melissa and late husband Edgar, who I learned was apparently very meticulous in all matters, including the management of Joan Rivers' career. And he also used to drive Rivers to her early Catskills gigs in the 60s. And lastly, I handed Rivers a note with my phone number when she got out of this limo before her show in Reno. And I made and uploaded a video to YouTube, which was like a legal brief in support of me driving Joan Rivers to her next show in New Jersey, in which I asked my parents to weigh in on my driving. Whenever I get into the car with Elizabeth, I always hand her the keys. When Elizabeth drives, we know we will get uh, to destination and uh, you feel secure. You do know that she's a law school professor. Despite that, I wanted her to think I was fun. So in the video, I demonstrated my ability to sing in the car. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna make it happen. You set my heart on fire. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. My excellent listening skills. Yeah, uh, I know. Yes, yes. And how much fun I'd be to chat with. I sprained my ankle in Amsterdam, actually, and she was dating this guy. I have trouble telling my right from my left. They had more than one song. I even drove to the theater in the video to show that I could. We're here. I invited her to get a hold of me. If you want to contact me, I've given you my phone number twice. I didn't hear from her, then sadly she died, so I assumed I'd never hear from her. And actually that same week, I lost my car, which I also made a video about. I really just don't know where my car is. It was decidedly darker than the first video. Whoa, I'm walking on sunshine. I just want to like give up and cry. But I felt so hopeless. I had looked everywhere for it. So I was trying to embrace some gratitude to make me feel better. And I am, I am actually grateful. Although the dark side quickly overtook me. Like I don't even have internet to post a gratitude list. It was really rough. I wrote it out and I was gonna post it on Facebook, but then the posting function on my phone's Facebook wasn't working. In addition to all that, I really couldn't locate my car for an entire week. I resigned myself to the fact that it was stolen. The police said that. So I was surprised when the following Sunday morning, this cop from the local precinct calls me and he's like, hey, are you Liz? I said, yeah. He's like, I was having a slow morning. So I decided to drive around the neighborhood and I think I've found your car. He asks where I am. I tell him, he says, oh, I'm across the street a place I definitely looked when I was looking everywhere for my car for an entire week. I go to meet him, it's my car. He asked me to inspect it, everything's fine, except for the fact that the remote no longer opens the passenger side of the car. Not a big deal, but I was aware from Ghostbusters 2, a movie that terrified me as a child, that ghosts can communicate through electricity couldn't sleep for a year after that. On a less terrifying note, I was also aware of the movie Ghost. Hello? I get a message from Sam. What? Where someone who had recently died ran post-death errands through a medium. Sam Wheat? He asked me to call. After I finished inspecting the car, I thanked the officer and was about to cross the street back to my apartment when he stopped me and he's like, by the way, I'm Edgar. I looked at him and smiled, knowing that Joan had understood that of course my offer to drive her in 2013 meant that her ghost could borrow my car in 2014 and that she had watched my video. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. If you don't like my singing, I have got some stories. <laughs> 